you know, I don't know if y'all saw it. It's in the news today. Drew Peterson accused of trying to put hit on Will County State's Attorney James Glasgow, allegedly, of course, somewhere between September and December of just the past few months, December four, uh, uh, you know, September and December. And uh, it's very nice of him to answer the phone. Hey, Joel, how you doing, buddy? Joel Brodsky, one of the attorneys, the lead attorney for Drew Peterson at the time, right? Oh. At, during the trial, yeah. During the trial, my friend. I know you for a long time. It was so nice of you to come on at such short notice. And uh, tell us what's, my pleasure. Uh, tell us what's uh, what's going on. Well, I mean, I know I've seen the indictment. Um, he, Drew has been charged uh, with uh, solicitation to commit first-degree murder. Mm-hmm. According according to the uh, the indictment, there was a, uh, a, confident, a CI, a confidential informant, uh, that he... Uh, uh, tr- uh, that he allegedly uh, tried to uh, induce mm-hmm. to uh, find somebody to kill Glasgow, and uh, that if he uh, if he did it, he would pay him. Uh, and, and where do you, and, and I'm just curious. I know you don't know a lot. And where would he get the money from? Do you think that's a good question? Good question. <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> you know, I have unless no he idea. could pay it off in <laughs> cigarettes. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, that's, a, that's a good. That's a good. I know it's not his pension, so who knows. But it's, uh, you know, that's why I don't understand this whole situation. You know, here's a guy that uh, his brief, his appellate brief was, uh, appellate court brief, the, full, the case is fully briefed. All the, uh, his brief, the state's brief, the reply brief, it's all done, all filed before the appellate court. And, uh, you know, he's, um, you know, he, he's alleged to have done this type of stuff, which, you know, if he did it, uh, it doesn't sound like a guy that's got a lot of confidence in his appeal. That's for sure. Well, yeah, and let me ask you: from your view of the bridge, I mean, I mean, in, in your opinion, I, I, now let me let me let me digress. Are you still handling the case for him? No, I'm, I'm not doing the appeal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not that this has anything to do with answering the question, but why? I mean, what's the why here? I mean, let's say he allegedly. Let's just assume he did it, I, I, or whoever, a murderer. Or, well, he's convicted, so I get you know does this. What's he trying? You know, and and if Glasgow gets knocked, is dead. Does that mean the case dies? No, right? No, right? No. So what would, would be, be the, what would be? The, I guess the motive. What do you think? I I know you try to get ahead a little bit. It would be spite. If this, if, yeah, exactly. If he did it, uh, I mean, it would be simply nothing but pure vengeance. Uh, it would be the act of somebody that feels they have nothing to lose, and they just want to get even. That that would be that okay. would be it. it would, there's no there's no logic or plan plan in it. It's it's just you know pure pure vengeance, pure pure hate. If that's if he did it, uh, and he doesn't feel he has anything to lose, you know, and and that's why I say that it you know it doesn't make sense from the point that the uh, appellate, appellate court is the ruling is only months away. And if he felt, you know, that uh, he had chance on appeal, you know, if you're going to do something like that, you at least wait until the appeal was over. Well, maybe. <laughs> uh, so do you think, and again, we don't know. Do you speculate that they have it in for him? So they're trying to make it to seem like he'll never get any, ever, ever even get the appeal or get out. Is that uh, anything's possible in this world today? So, yeah, I, uh, well, any, any, anything, you know, any, anything's possible. But I've read the, uh, the state, the briefs. And yeah. Uh, I think the state's got, uh, you know, the appellate brief in his case is pretty weak. The state did a very fine job. Uh, uh, I don't think that his appeal had stood much of a chance. So in that case, why would they? Why would they care to do that? You know, it no, then, they would, then they wouldn't care. So, but so maybe, like you said, look, the guy. I know you represented him. You still can't get into his head. I remember when he was on the show with you, me, March fifteenth, two thousand and nine. I remember asking you one of the things was, and listen, you're not a keeper. I said, why do you let this guy, can't you keep a muzzle on him? I mean, look, I, I will watch all too much TV, but everybody knows. I mean, any, not everybody. You should keep your mouth shut. He just went on. He just got everybody pissed off at him. And you even said something like, hey, you know, I mean, you're very, very nice about it. You're like, yes, I think you even said to me, I advised him to you know, not do certain, you know, maybe media appearances, but I'm not him and he's his own man, something like that, you know? Yeah. He, yeah. I mean, he, he obviously he can make his own, he can make his own decisions. You know, he, you know, we uh, tried to fit his, uh, you know, build a strategy more on what he was doing than what he was doing around the strategy. But, uh, he's, uh, you know, he, he certainly is, uh, a guy who, who likes, you know, who likes the limelight and likes the practical joking and all that sort of stuff. 
But, you know, in this type of case, if they got a CI or a confidential informant, you know, that means that they got it on tape. Uh. And if, if they got it on tape, you know, and in a jail, they'll, they'll wire a guy up or they'll put a, they'll put him in a cell with a camera and, you know, they'll, they'll do something or put a camera in a cell when he's out and they'll get it on tape. I mean, you know, they'll, they'll want to get as solid of a case as possible because their witnesses are, are felons and you know, their witnesses right. are other criminals. So they'd want to get it on, on tape. And if they got it on tape, you know, I mean, there's not much you can say, but, uh, you know, <laughs> I mean, I guess his only evidence was I'm, a, I'm just joking, but you know, that's not a great defense. And, um, on the, you know, on the other hand, you know, it just, it doesn't make sense from the point that the appeal's pending. Uh, I mean, you know, a guy with, with any confidence would wait, but I guess he's, uh, he doesn't have confidence in his appeal and felt he had nothing to, if he did it, I'm not saying he did it, but if he did it, he felt he was, uh, had nothing to lose and, you know, wanted to uh, get some payback before he left this world. You know, I know there wasn't a lot of evidence, if, if none, I mean, according to you and a lot of other folks, do you think, this media, this, uh, you know, this arrogance, this cockiness, label it any way you want. You think that got him convicted? Jurors are still human. You think that it was a, had a key into that? No, you know, I, I just, uh, certainly, you know, always uh, hindsight, <laughs> they say, is twenty twenty. Uh But no, I, I don't think that was it. I, I think that that hearsay is uh, it was very, very powerful evidence. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, you can call, and hearsay is unreliable, that's why we ban it, but it's powerful evidence when you can have somebody say, ah, uh, you know, so-and-so, you know, said to me that the guy confessed to them. Um, you know, when it was, if, you know, Stacy, if, if, uh, Harry Smith says, you know, Stacy told me Drew did it, or, right. uh, Neil Shorey said, I spoke to Stacy and she was terrified. She said the truth did it. That is very compelling and very strong evidence. When you combine that with, uh, you know, the other circumstantial evidence and finding the body, uh, you know, the suspicious timing of the death, the unusual nature of it, the fact that the state's pathologist said that uh, it was a homicide, you know, you put all that together and, and there's a, uh, a strong case. Obviously, without the hearsay, you know, there was no case. Um, and that's you know, uh, why the hearsay is uh, both so important to the state and so dangerous for defendants. And uh, don't, don't you think that, that, that he had some hand on, you know, by his actions of pushing that hearsay law through, like they're trying to get him. I always thought he was a marked man. I did. Well, yeah, I mean, clearly, uh, he, he was, um, to def- I mean, that he, and I'm not defending him I- and I'm not defending. Him. I'm just saying his actions, his shenanigans, I think got him busted is what I think. Well, I, I've always think- thought that. Well, I think that the, the hearsay law was was on the was you know uh, been propo- it was proposed you know before they uh, started after him, but uh, you know by when when it was pa- it was proposed before he started, but when they passed it, it was definitely aimed at him. No question, and, and, I agree. And I, think, and I thought you know that was a, a great issue that should have been raised in his appeal, but wasn't. And, oh, wasn't? Uh, no, interesting. That's why. Uh, well, there was, I don't there know. Were a lot of, that to me is the key. Things. That's the key to me. Hearsay law. Yeah. That's the worst yeah. law in the books. I mean, you know, you and I are at a party. I get a little bit loaded. I say to you, hey, you know, I'm going to go kick this guy. I'm going to kill this guy. Eh, whatever. I get crazy, you know, crazy, whatever. You know, he's cheating on my wife. Eh, whatever. And all of a sudden, the guy's dead. I maybe had nothing to do with it. You go, yeah, Pincus. Yeah, I had a couple of too many martinis at the party, the Hanukkah party. Tommy's going to kill that. Tommy's going to kill that guy. That's hearsay, right? Exactly. I mean, and you and I go, what are you talking about? I was half in a bag, and boom, they put cuffs on you. I mean, really, exactly. it's ridiculous. Exactly, and that's what it should have been raised on appeal, and that's why I, I don't think is a, I don't think is a Pell, I don't think is a Pell lawyer. Uh, you know, Christy Greenberg did a did a really did a very good job on his appeal. Uh, you know, I thought he did a pretty lousy job, and the uh, I can tell you that of the original defense team that we had, there were some pretty good lawyers. Uh, nobody would sign that brief. Uh, Joe Lopez didn't sign it. Uh, Ralph Metchik didn't sign it. Dale Goldberg didn't sign it. None of them would sign that that that, that brief because nobody <laughs> didn't have any confidence in it. And uh, and, it could, and, you, and what you're saying is absolutely right. They should have brought up Pierce. It should have been the major issue, and it was barely mentioned, if at all. Which is uh, maybe uh, you know why Drew has no confidence in his uh, in his appeal. All right. Well, the the bottom line is, yeah, you know, he's obviously you know 
Uh, he's guilty. Look, if he's innocent until proven guilty. I understand. I'm not, you know, just, I'm not. They're just, a, they're just the allegations. Uh, as I always tell, uh, you know, juries and clients and people, that every single person who was ever found not guilty or who was ever exonerated was charged. So, you know, you, you can't be exonerated unless you've been charged first. So, you know, a charge is, it doesn't really, is that evidence? I understand. Nothing? But like you say, you know, like you say, you know, his appeal was light and a light and, uh, you know, and they probably, they're not, they're not just going to trump up charges and, you know, it's a, it's a hot potato anyway. And, and there's a good chance yeah. that they got him by the, by the short hairs. And we don't know, but well, we'll find out. We will find out. And I, uh, I'm sure this, you know, I'm sure we will. And the, uh, the state, uh, I mean, when I read the indictment and I saw there was a confidential informant, yeah. the first thing that popped to mind was, well, you know, they probably got it on tape and, you know, then he's screwed. But well, you never know. All right, you never know. Well, thanks so much, my man. I, I And it will follow the story with you. I really appreciate you coming on at such right. short notice. My pleasure. Give me a call anytime. Joel Brodsky.